Hello everybody. I hope you will be in the best of your health and you are all enjoying your good and beautiful life. Today we will discuss the correct use of noun. Let's start our today's lesson. The very first rule is there are certain nouns which have the same form both in singular and plural. We do not use S with these nouns to make them plural. These nouns are sheep, deer, swine, stone. For example, the sheep is grazing in the field. The sheep are grazing in the field. The sheep are grazing in the field is wrong. We do not use S to make them plural. They have the same form both in singular and plural. But there are some nouns which are used as a singular and plural form. For example, here. When we talk about hair generally, it is used in singular form. For example, your hair is grey. Her hair is black. Her hairs are black wrong. But when there is a numeral adjective before this word, a numeral adjective is one, two, three. When these adjectives are used, or we may say when these are when hair is counted here can be counted then we use plural verb and use s with this word four hairs in your bread in your beard are black five hairs in your beard are gray in the same way the noun fish It is generally used in a singular form. Whether there are thousands of fish of the same type. But when there are different types of fish, then the word is used as fishes. There are four different types of fishes in the form. The other rule is there are some words like hundred, thousand, dozen, yog, million, billion, trillion. If there is numeral adjective with these nouns, numeral adjectives are you know one, two, three, four. If there is a numeral adjective with these words, then there will be no addition of us with these words. For example, I have two thousand rupees. Two thousands is wrong. I have two thousand rupees. There were four million people in the stadium. But if the proposition of is used with these words, then we add S with these nouns. For example, hundreds of people were present. 
dozens of eggs were sold the next rule is certain nouns are always plural and they take plural verb there are some nouns which are used in plural form they are not used in singular form for example clothes police my clothes are dirty her clothes are beautiful in the same way we use plural verb with police the police were chasing the thief the police have caught the thief we always use plural verb with these two words clothes and police we always used plural verb with instruments or garments which are consisting of two parts for example glasses trousers scissors my scissors are out of work my scissors is out of work is wrong my scissors are out of work my trousers are flexible the other rule is the nouns ending in ics letters for example politics mathematics ethics physics economics are normally singular they are singular uncountable noun and they have no plural use they always use singular verb for example my mathematics is weak sorry for example mathematics is difficult subject but when we talk about the skill of any word like this politics economics mathematics when we talk about the skill of any person then we use plural form with these words for example what are your politics your mathematics are weak then we talk about the subject when we take it as a subject then we use singular verb but when we talk about the skill of any person then we use plural verb then we take them as a plural subject as we see in these two examples mathematics is a difficult subject and my mathematics are weak the other rule is there are some words which are plural in form but they are singular in meaning and take and take singular verb these words are news certain diseases like measles mumps rickets certain games like billiards darts some parts of body like bowels intestines and trails arms other words are arms environs annals gallows innings knuckles summons tidings riches thanks etc these words are plural in form 
but they are singular in meaning. For example, the news is very exciting. This news is very exciting. Billiards is a good game. Billiards are good game is wrong. News are exciting is wrong. News is exciting. We though these words, these nouns are in plural form, but they always take singular verb, singular form. But wages, the word wages, when it refers to a salary or payment, when the word wages refers to salary or payment, then plural verb is used. For example, his wages are 2000 rupees as week. But when it means a reward, when the word wages means a reward, then we use similar verb. Then similar verb is used. For example, the wages of sin is death. In the same way, another word is means. When it refers to method, then it may be followed either singular or plural but it refers when it refers to wealth money resources then it is followed by plural verb when means is referred to method then it may be used as a singular and plural but when it referred it refers to money wealth resources then it is followed by plural verb for example every means has been tried in the sentence means is referred to method so we can use singular or plural verb His means are small, but he has incurred no debt. In this sentence, means refers to wealth, money, resources. So, it is followed by a singular verb. His means are so plural verb. When it refers to a wealth, money, resources, it is followed by a plural verb, but when it refers to means, when it refers to method, then it may be followed by a singular or plural verb. It depends on the expression on the content of the sentence. The other rule is, as a general rule, collective nouns are used in singular form and take singular verb. As a general, collective nouns are always used in singular form and they take singular verb. For example, the class was silent in this sentence, the collective noun class. Class was silent, the flock is grazing in the field. Flock is collective noun. But When members of collective nouns are divided, when the members of collective nouns are divided, then we use plural verb. They are used in plural form. For example, the flock were running here and there. They are not in collective form. They are dispersed somewhere. So, flock are running here and there. In the same way, the other example is jury were divided in their opinion. Jury uh, did not give unanimous decision. They were divided. So, we use 
plural verb. Jury were divided in their opinion. There are certain collective nouns. Though they are singular in form, but there are certain collective nouns, though they are singular in form, but they take plural verb. There are certain collective nouns, though they are singular in form, but they take plural verb. These collective nouns are gentry, clergy, offspring, alphabet, etc. Poultry, people, cattle, folk, vermin. These are some collective nouns, though they are similar, but they take plural verb. For example, the cattle are grazing. The cattle is grazing is wrong. The cattle are grazing. In the same way, the other example is these poultry are mine. These poultry are mine wrong. These poultry is mine wrong. These poultry are mine. So these are the certain nouns, though they are singular in form, but they are used in plural sense. They use plural verb. <coughs> the other rule is there are some certain nouns which are used only in singular and they do not take plural verb. These nouns are scenery, land, luggage, poetry, furniture, issue, equipment, knowledge, clothing, fruit, information, advice, business, trouble, vacation, apparatus, mischief, machinery, rice, jewelry, traffic. These are some, these are the nouns. They are used only in singular form. They do not take plural verb. They always take singular verb. For example, the scenery of Kashmir is beautiful. The sceneries of Kashmir is, are beautiful is wrong. The scenery of Kashmir is beautiful. I have no information. The other is there are some material nouns when they indicate the substance of which things are made. They should never be used in plural form. When material nouns are used as things which are made should never be used in plural form. They are always in singular form. Material nouns. The example is the building is made up of brick and stone. The building is made up of bricks and stones is wrong. The building is made up of brick and stone. <clears throat> when they indicate the substance of which things are made, they never be used in plural form. They are always in singular form when they indicate the substance of which things are made. But when material nouns are used in plural form, then it means they are they uh, they are in the form of common noun. They become common noun. When material nouns are used in plural form, they become common noun. They become simply the names of things they take and they take plural verb. Then they are, when material nouns are common nouns and they simply means the names of things, then they take plural verb and they are in plural forms. 
For example, the boys were throwing stones and stones at Bagat. The other rule is abstract nouns are never used in plural form. Abstract nouns are always used in singular form, they never used in plural form. But if we want to uh, make them in plural sense and we want to express some plural in uh, and we want to make we want to express them in plural sense, then we add a suitable word before these uh, abstract nouns. For example, I feel pain in my in my body. I feel pains in my body is wrong. I feel pain in my body. So, if you want to make them in plural sense, then I have an urgent piece of work. I have urgent pieces of work, or I have an urgent piece of work. In the same way, another example, acts of kindness. Kindness is, is wrong. Acts of kindness increase charm of life. In the same way, he gave me many pieces of advice. He gave me many advices is wrong. He gave me many pieces of advice. They abstract on, I usually uh, take singular verb and they are in singular form. But if you want to make them in plural sense, then we add some suitable word before these abstract nouns. Before some before these abstract nouns as acts of kindness, pieces of advice, grains of rice, grains of I tasted some grains of rice. I tasted some rice this is wrong. I tasted some grains of rice. The other one is. When a noun is compounded, com compounded with a numeral, when the noun is compounded, compounded with a numeral, it is always used in singular form. Numeral, uh, when we add a numeral adjective with a noun, then it is used in singular form and it takes never a plural form, never a plural verb. For example, I have a 10 rupee note. 10 rupees note is wrong. I have a 10 rupee, a 5 mile race, a 10 minute work. If you find any immigrity, if you have any confusion, you may ask. If you have any question, you may ask. Your question will be welcomed. Thank you very much.